Hi there, welcome back to the channel and welcome to something completely different. Yes, it is a PCBWay box and uh, this video is in fact sponsored by PCBWay. You are quite accustomed to seeing me open these things. Normally it's a printed circuit board. Well, this time it's going to be different. This is actually something that I've been planning to do for some time. And that is, I wanted to try the uh, 3D printing services. And so I did. And I got two different samples of practically the same thing. Now, why would I do that? Well, as you probably know, I've got myself a 3D printer and I print with um, the normal plastic. <laughs> and I wanted to see what theirs was like. So I decided to do this. I've been wanting these for some time. I've had one of these in my uh, shopping cart. I don't know how many times and every time I am about to click buy, I stop because I find them too expensive. I know I'm being a bit of a miser, but I decided to design these myself. And this is sticky. Why is it sticky? Well, it's very flexible. I'm just wondering whether it's going to hold. Well, you know what these are. This is to hold cables and connectors and everything else, which are normally the sort of things you want to put in your um, keep organized on your workbench. And I've tried many things. I've actually, this might sound strange, but I actually bought one of those um, frying pan sort of forky things and I cut the ends off and I put this on the edge. <laughs> A bit stupid, but I decided to do this and I decided to do this in two different materials. This one, I believe, is the ABS. And then this one, I wanted to do one in resin because I wanted to see what that is like. My printer is the normal filament printer, but I wanted to see what it, the difference was if I did it in resin. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it does look different, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep taking it out of here. I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. If you haven't been to PCBWay's website, you probably don't know this, but if you have, you'll know they've got all sorts of services. And one of them is 3D printing. Now this is the normal 3D printing with the normal uh, filament printer, like I've got, except this is much more flexible than what I'm able to achieve. What material did I choose? I'll, I'll have a look in a minute. And this one is printed with resin. And this thing is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at the difference in the lettering. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I put EO and new, electronics all the new on there. And this one, you yeah, it's all right. But it's a little bit botchy. This is obviously the filament printing, and you can see all the lines there. And this one is resin printed. And this thing is absolutely perfect. Man, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, you know what this means, right? I'm now inclined to want to get a, a resin printer. My wife's going to kill me. Well, otherwise, I'll just keep ordering from PCB Way. I can always do the testing on my normal printer. And once I know that the components are perfect, I can order from them in resin print because this thing is way better, way, way better than the normal 3D printing stuff. I mean, this is better than mine, definitely. Definitely better than what my printer can achieve. And obviously, it's, I mean, this thing. When I try to build, when I try to print my um, a sample on my 3D printer, I think it took about five hours, five, six hours. I mean, it's, it's incredibly slow and you just get bored waiting for this thing. So ordering them just makes sense. But it's a good thing to be able to, you know, prototype it, make sure that it fits and works. And I'll show you this in a minute. But this one, man, I had never seen the difference, but now I am sold. I can't find any faults on here. Everything is, and the price is the same, actually. These two are exactly the same price, one and the other. I ordered one each only. I mean, this will do me for a while. Let me show you what I want to put on here. These are the sort of connectors, cables that you always use. 
And the way I've designed this is I've made sure that there's a lip up here. You can see that so that it sort of holds it in place and you pull it up. OK, so the idea is that you just flick these in. And you can get a really neat arrangement of all your um, connectors. You can also do what I've done or tried with my sample, which was instead of doing this, I've actually done. I would put two. I would put it like this so that it occupies less space. You know, it doesn't hang so far low. It depends on what you've got. But this was fine for me and I've got uh, four colors. So I designed this with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. I made it for five different connectors, five different colors. I've got red, black, green, white and yellow. That's it. So these would go like that. That's my idea. That's the way that I can best fit it on my space. But it's totally up to you. Now, these things are on sale just about everywhere. But obviously, if you have access to a 3D printer or a 3D printing service, you don't really need to to do that. So, yeah. OK, that's one type of cable that I'm putting on here. The others are actually a bigger mess if you don't have them tidy. These things. So again, same story. They fit nicely on here. And I can put them any which way I want. I've got different lengths of these, so I can just put the different lengths together or the different colors together. Basically, I can choose whatever I want and they will hang down neatly like that. And then I just need to screw this into a part of my workbench that will accommodate this nicely. And I, I'm going to use both. I am going to use both, but I'm so, so impressed with this thing. I am so impressed with this thing. I'm, oh man, OK, I'm going to use both. I mean, I've got these two together. I'm not going to throw one away just because it looks a bit less neat than the other one. But definitely that one is my choice. Let me show you the design for this thing. Now, I actually did this in uh, SketchUp because I'm a lot more familiar with SketchUp or was when I was doing this. I'm getting pretty good at um, at Fusion 360, but I did this on SketchUp because to me it was just very, very simple. Once you get used to Fusion 360, you'll never touch this again. But for the moment, this is what I'm working on. I'm working on both at the moment. So this was the rack that I designed and I've got the measurements here. The spacing between the two, I've given six millimeters. I've got uh, the length from front to back at about 56 millimeters. So this here, there is 20 millimeters because that's the width of my my shelving. And I wanted to screw it onto parts of the shelving. And that's it. That's basically it. What I did is I created one element and then I just copied it. And um, the end ones I cut off to make it look nicer. So when I finished this, all I did is I exported this to STL. And it's very simple to do as well. You go here and you do, what is it, download. There we go, download, STL. And you get your STL file in your download folder. There we go. You actually see what it's going to look like before you send it off. And then this STL file is the one you use to, um, to upload to the PCBWare website where you get your quotes and all that sort of thing. Here I've got the two orders. It's and it wasn't um, the ABS, whatever it is. I used PETG. I'd forgotten. Now, this one was, let's see, test lead rack. And yeah, one black wall thickness. No, this was just the, these were just the uh, settings that I put for this thing. And the other one was standard resin. And again, this was fairly simple to do. And you just go to 3D printing over here and you would um, put in the quantity. Let's see. No, I don't want CNC machining. I want 3D printing. Quantity, resin, get started. And then you'd upload your CAD file. Like, for example, this would be an STL file. So I could try something that I'm working on right now, like this thing. You may recognize this. This thing is a gear 
for the um, Sony CRF 320 that I have an actual, in actual fact printed on my 3D printer to test. It's one that I'm working on at the moment. And I could just do this. You know, I could just upload it like that. Let's see, what will it cost me? Um, so, $498, $5. This would be in, I'm just checking here. This would be standard white material. This is resin. And standard white material. I've got all these materials to choose from. And matte white process, blah, blah, blah. I don't want any particular surface finish. And I could simply order it like this. Two to three days, about $5 each. If I made this uh, greater quantity, let's say I made it 10. Look at that. Look at that. Brilliant. 10 would cost me $1.25, $1.24 each. Now these things are these gears that uh, the Sony CRFs keep breaking. Every one I've seen seems to talk about uh, broken gears, whether it's a small gear or the big gear. But you see, when you do one, it's $5 each. But if you do two or three, even five, even five, it's down to five of these things, six twenty. Now I think you can buy these things online for about $12 or $14 each. All right, so there's an example of um, saving with printing your own stuff. Obviously, you're going to have shipping and all that sort of thing, but I guess you're going to have that with the other guys as well. So let me see where, uh, where, where was I? The one that I was actually doing was the test lead rack, so I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to put the test lead rack in here. There we go. And here we go. All right, so again, resin and if i want one it's going to be five dollars but if i want okay these are a little bit more expensive they don't drop that much till you get to about 50 but anyway it's about five dollars each if i do this is resin if i do um pet g which i believe was the other one that i did that's actually more expensive so resin seems to be cheaper that's interesting but this is what I did. And what I've got at the moment is I've got these. I'm going to put these on uh, the share section. So if you want to order them yourself, go ahead. Please don't ask me too many questions about this. I This is the first time I've used their um, 3D printing service because I'd used a lot of the PCB stuff, as you know, and never the 3D printing. But I've just seen that I've got a solution for my gears for the uh, Sony, which are going to come out a lot better than the ones I can print here. Okay, that's their website, pcbway.com. And they're running uh, Christmas sales and everything on, so visit their website, and I'm sure you'll find something that interests you. Let's carry on. So if I hadn't tried this, something which I really did not need, I did not absolutely need these things, I could design them and build them on my own. If I hadn't tried this, I wouldn't have found out about the, uh, the resin. Now, I'm sure you guys who've experimented with both I'm probably wondering why I'm so surprised, but I am. I really am. It's almost like uh, I wasted my money on the on the uh, filament one. But I believe the resin printing at home is a bit of a mess because uh, the way it works is actually you've got a liquid, and then your um, your image is portrayed on a on a on a sheet, and then it's it's uh, radiated with UV light, and that hardens, and then it moves on to the next layer. But it does make it very, very precise, man. I'm... Oh, geez. Okay. Enough, enough, enough. I wonder where I'm going to fit my resin printer next. I'm going to have to move my wife out of, uh, or my daughter out of the spare bedroom. I've already moved my wife out of the office. So there's going to be another revolution in this house. All right, folks, that's it for now. I just wanted to show you this first experiment with uh, PCB Waste 3D printing. As you can tell, I'm extremely happy, especially having discovered the differences, which was the objective of my experiment anyway. So um, if you want to try that, I'll put the links for these two down below. And if you want, you can just order direct. So once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, click like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and stay safe.